both these young ladies have have had cancer, survivors fighting cancer. We have these beautiful girls here. So Sarah's going to say something, and then Debbie will say a little something too. Okay, Sarah? So I have been lucky enough to live through cancer three times. I'm currently battling cancer. My breast cancer actually came back and metastasized to my brain, so I just had brain surgery in August. So it's rough when you transition from being a survivor to being a metaviver, which means that it's become stage four, which is the worst stage that it can be. It's spread beyond the original point of where it started. So when we talk about Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October, we're not talking just about the people that have never been diagnosed and checking yourself. Of course, we want to include those people, but we're talking about knowing your genetic history with your family, and we're talking about pre-vivors. Those are the people that are diagnosed with a genetic connection, like BRCA1 or BRCA2, but have not had breast cancer yet. We're talking about survivors that have lived, or that have survived one year, one week, you know, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. We're talking about people that have survived and got re-diagnosed and they beat it again. My name's Debbie and uh, I, I'm kind of new to the breast cancer myself. Um, mine, I was caught at a very early uh, stage, stage one. So um, I just want to say thank you to Amparo for letting me be a part of today's uh, event. I've never, this is the first time I've been a part of anything that has to do with my condition. So um, I'm actually right now uh, in stage two of my process of uh, reconstruction. So um, I'm three weeks post-op. So I'm very happy by the grace of God that I am standing here seeing everybody um, today and being a part of uh, this event and teaching y'all to be aware of breast cancer and thank you very much for supporting the um, breast cancer awareness I know you guys could be somewhere else you know but instead you guys are here supporting the people that have cancer so thank you all